Hi everybody, Weston here, or Mark, that's my real name. Hopefully you can see on the table that for Christmas I was given a F450 flame wheel kit and following 3D Jim's warning I'm about to change all the bullet connectors um, on the motors due to rubbish shoulder and I've actually stripped one back. Can't see it for loving the money now, that one. and. It doesn't look particularly good to solder in, it looks a bit crusty and I don't think I'm going to try. going to trust it. Um, but first I'd like to just say a few words on soldering. I've seen some funny efforts on the internet. Um, I don't know if it's in the shot here but I've got an Antex 690 SD digital soldering iron station. Um, this has obviously got a box where you can change the temperature on it and of course the soldering iron with interchangeable bits. One of the funniest ones I've seen is a guy trying to solder up the wires on his flame wheel on um, using a bit like that, which is just a pointed tip. They're no good for this sort of work at all. That's uh, for printed circuit board work. There's no um, heat reserve in these. The bigger the tip, the more heat reserve you've got in there. So he was he started off soldering, then he was holding the wires with a with a set of pliers in place because the wires were getting hot before the solder would flow. So um, this tip here, I don't know if this is in shot or in focus, is about three millimeters across. I've just taken that one off and I've put this one, which is a good five mil. Yes, it's a dirty tip. I'll be coming to that in a minute. Um, I've just turning this on now. I'm running it. If don't know if that's showing up at 400 degrees centigrade. That's probably quite hot for this um, for this tip because I've been using not the pointy tip. Hardly ever use that. I've been using the smaller tip for some soldering recently, uh, but I thought I'd go up to it. another useful win for soldering bullet connectors. I find is this little vice. This came from a, a place called Eileen's Emporium, which is primarily uh, aimed at model railway stuff, but they sell lots of useful little tools like that. So it's a good handheld little vice. It's got a little nick, so it holds the bullet connector. Um, also you can still get lead solder from them, that's all my current stock left, that is 145 degree solder, so that means it melts at 145 degrees C. I've actually got some in my toolbox down there that melts at 70 degrees C which is used for white metal, so 70 degrees C is less than boiling water. But you mustn't mix the types of solder, and um, 70 degree solder will not adhere to brass, so you have to tin with 45 degree, 145 degree solder first and then make the bond with the 70 degree. But as I say, that's purely for white metal work, if you're soldering white metal to white metal it's fine, white metal to brass you need to tin the brass with a conventional solder first. Um, also what I'm going to do is on the DJI, DJI motor leads, once I've taken the old bullet connectors off, I'm going to put some thin heat shrink, shrink tubing on there first, hopefully that's going to fit, and then I'm going to put a bigger bit over there just to help strengthen the joint. So, um, well, let's uh, get myself prepared and I'll get back to you in a minute. Okay, right, I've taken three bullet connectors off of the DJI motors, so I um, expect they use what Bruce on RC Model Reviews calls hippie solder, which is lead free stuff. So. As you can see, ouch, it's still hot. Um, there's a good amount of solder in there. They filled it right up. If the, it, I don't know if the remains of the flux that they use is corroding at all. Um, but anyway, what I'll do sometime is I'll really heat that up and shake that out, and then I can use it again. But I'm going to use some fresh bullet connectors, and I will retin these with good old lead-based solder. Another good thing from Eileen's Emporium, I think you can get them at these, I've lost the lid, it's uh, it's for cleaning your, the tip of your soldering iron, cleanliness is very important during soldering. All you do is, you hopefully can see that the tip is nice and there, you just press it in, give it a little rub, wipe it on a wet sponge, I hope you all have a little damp sponge and you have a nice clean tinned tip. It's just lasts me ages and ages and I can't remember how much it was when I bought it but they're not that much, well worth it. So, soldering on a new bullet connector. I hope this is in shot because I just got a little flip camera that I use. Flux. Good flux is a phosphoric acid flux. I think it's phosphoric, um, but quite corrosive. You may have seen bakers on the bakers in your local hardware shop, bakers soldering flux. 
don't put it anywhere near steel, even the fumes will corrode steel. This is just basic, I got it from my local plumbers, power flux, seems to work quite well, and it says for lead free solder, but it works just as well with conventional solder. As you can see, cocktail sticks will go a bit manky in there after a while, and that's part and parcel of it. Um, so yes, flux makes the flow, solder flow very well. Um, as I say, I will retin the wires and then hopefully show you one being soldered.